In my previous video, I demonstrated how you can draw a bell curve that looks something like this. If you need the link to that video, please leave a request on the comment section and I'll send you the link. But this time around, someone inquired how can you plot an area under the curve where you can specify both the lower and upper range and make it look something like this. Well, this is how you do it. The first thing you have to do is to calculate the cumulative probability using the if statement here. The first argument or if statement will be the n function. The reason for the n is because we got the upper and the lower range. The condition for the first one will be d2, which is the very first grade here. If it's greater than or equal to your lower range, I'm going to press F4 to make both the column and the row fix. And the second argument would be D2 again, lesser than or equal to the upper range here like this. And I'm going to press F4 to make both the column and the row fix. Close parenthesis. And if this AND condition is true, you're going to basically display the normal distribution. If it's not true, you're going to display a zero value. And after that, close parenthesis and hit enter. Now, if you can take the same formula and apply it to the rest of the row by double clicking on the fill handler. Now, if you go to scroll down, you can see anything between 60 to 80%. You can see they do have some values in there from the normal distribution. Now, to plot an area under the curve, what you're going to do is you're going to select your bell curve one more time and you're going to click on chart design, data, select data, and you're going to click on add here. You're going to go to series X value. You're going to click on this arrow and basically select all the grades that you have on column D like this and click this down arrow here. Next, for the series Y value, you're going to click on this up arrow and then select all the probability or rather the cumulative probability that you just calculated using the if statement and click on down arrow. And after that, you can click on OK. As you can see, it's already taking form. Let's click OK one more time to close that pop up. Now, right now, this both of them are actually a line chart here. Now, to convert the orange uh, line chart into an area chart, you're going to select any of the chart. I'm going to select the original blue bell curve here. And then you go chart design type, change chart type. In here, the series one, we're going to change it into a line. And the series two, we're basically going to change it to an area type and click OK. And just to make it a bit more pretty, let's change this color. Right click on it, format data series, fill and line. Under the fill, we're going to make it maybe a lighter shade of blue like this. And then for the border, I'm just going to say solid line and I'm going to keep the blue line like that. And that's, that's how I create the bell curve with an area underneath. Let's test it a bit. Let's put a 50% here. You can see that it changes accordingly.